Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek, and today I'll be showing you guys dark mode on iOS 10. No, not some partly dark mode. This is a system-wide dark mode that Apple should have given us years ago. As you may know, some applications on the App Store do offer a separate dark mode of their own. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get it in system apps down to the last bit, even your notifications. However, a jailbreak is required and I'll have that linked down below. At the heart of this setup is Eclipse 4. Right now, it is currently in beta stage and there are some bugs with it, but in the future, this will be flawless. As usual, there are a ton of options in settings and I'll be showing you guys that in a second. The best complement to Eclipse 4 is a tweak called Noctis. It basically enables a off and on button in the control center. That way you can toggle on the dark mode by hitting the little lamp in your control center. So first off, I did want to go over Eclipse 4 and what you can do with it even though it's in beta 1. So let's just take a look at the color options. You can set all sorts of different colors for different parts of the iOS user interface, like the nav bar up top, or the theme of the background, the tint of your buttons, or the color of your status bar. I just set mine to random, so by hitting quit all apps and coming back into the apps, you can see that some elements are randomized. And this is true for all the apps that you enabled. As you guys can see, there's a little party going on in my mailbox, but it does look Look pretty good no matter what the color you set of course it all comes down to personal preference by far my favorite color for the dark mode is orange because it kind of has like a Halloween theme and it just looks generally pretty good no matter what app you're in and I'm just barely scratching the surface of what Eclipse 4 can do but do note that once you download it you do need to enable applications manually because this is still a beta but right now, I want to go over Noctis, how it works, and how to get it. Noctis, as I mentioned earlier, provides that switch which you can toggle on and off Eclipse in the control center. Not only that, but it also turns the control center dark, as well as your notifications or your widgets inside of the notifications today view. This tweak is not yet available inside of Cydia because Cydia cannot accept purchases and I will have a special link in the description if you do want to get this tweak. Like I said, this does work for notification banners, even on the lock screen. So that is Noctis, but you guys might have noticed my control center is kind of in a weird layout. There are more buttons than usual, like the music player is there now. This is a tweak called Horseshoe. It basically takes the multi-paged control center on iOS 10 and puts it onto one page. That way you have your brightness, volume, music, toggles, everything on one page. So if I start playing a song, for example, you can see the music controls right there. And I can adjust the volume by sliding. And if you want to adjust brightness, hit the little brightness icon and you can adjust brightness. This just makes sense. And it looks fantastic with Noctis. Now you might be wondering how do I get these tweaks because I can't find them in Cydia right now or Cydia is not allowing me to buy them. This is how. Under the sources tab you'll need to add the URLs in the description by hitting edit, add, paste in the URL and hit add source. If you want to install Eclipse 4, go to search and search app list inside of Cydia, install that and also install Rocket Bootstrap. These are two packages you need to run Eclipse 4. And then you can go ahead and install Eclipse. If you want to install Noctis, like I said, there'll be a link in the description. And do note that Horseshoe does require this same type of thing to install. And I've got lots more in the works, guys, so be sure you stay tuned. If you have any questions, let me know. Add me on Twitter, at iAppleGeek. But for now, enjoy your dark mode, guys, and until next time, peace.